Hey guys, it's Schnoop6. Well, welcome to my second LP on this channel. And well, obviously, as you could see, it's Super Mario World. And it is the Super Mario Advance 2 version. If you saw the quality test, I don't see why you'd really care about that, but yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just played this game for a quality test of the, my character card, so I'm just gonna erase file A. This is the GBA version. Because I don't really own a Super Nintendo, and I really don't believe in using emulators for anything other than Mario Max. So, welcome to Dinosaur Land. See, eh, that kind of said not. It seems that Princess Toadstool is missing, and that means Bowser must be up to his old tricks again. The voice turned more epic halfway through it, but whatever. Uh, anyway, I mean, I'm sure you all know this game. Basic Mario World game. Press R, or whatever. I mean, R in the GBA version, but... Your spin jump, to your special jump. Um, hello, I'm sorry I'm not home. Yeah, Yoshi's British in this game, sure. But I've gone to rescue my friends who are... Okay, that's a bad British accent. They're captured by Bowser. Yoshi. Hey, he's got a cool little paw print. Well, what do I always say in the beginning of this game? Screw you, Mario. I like Luigi. Yeah, I mean, Luigi, he's like got like worse handling, but a ton more speed, and he, he can jump like 10 times better than Mario, I swear to God. I mean, it really makes a difference in this game. If you saw how much how high Mario jumped, I mean, look at this. I'm just like, floating, basically. I mean, it's like a breeze going through this air, man. Anyway. Um, there's a mushroom somewhere. If I kind of go, huh? Yeah, over there. Uh, you run across the guy and get a mushroom. Um, press A, press the A button to jump. Press the R button to do a spin jump. After nagging a mushroom, do spin jumps to crush blocks. Yeah, you get the point. Spin jump, crush block. If I'm smart enough to get up here, okay, good. Anyway, uh, yeah, in this playthrough, I will be getting all 96 exits. No, I'm not gonna be using Luigi for every single level, but it depends. It depends what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, yeah, you can use extra item. Whoops, that's start. Um, on the GameCube controller, because I'm doing this on the GameCube. Um, uh, what's it called? Game Boy Player? It's R for me. I mean, select is Y. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to get out here. Anyway, strange yellow block. Well, we'll, we'll see what happens, goes on with there later. Anyway, so, pretty much your basic first level. I mean, you don't even have to code on this level, but... Like I said, full 100% run, so I'm going every level. And over here we get a 1-up. Oh, Bonza, I got hit by the Bonza Bill. Oh no, 1-up. Dang. If I die on the first level, I swear to God, I will never be able to love that down. Okay, good, we got the mushroom. I'm, I'm just gonna start running. Run, Luigi. Just get on with it. Fail. Okay. Bam, Chuck. Nobody likes you. And, well, that's the first level. Like I said, basic first levelery. If that's a word at all. Even though it's not, yeah, it's definitely not a word. I'm pretty sure level, 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 levelery? You know what? Shut up, okay? Um, I might as well just do something with Mario. Because, yeah, as you can see, he jumps a lot. Uh,. What's, what's the opposite of high? Lower. Um, but he has like a uh, better handling, so to speak. Like he doesn't slide around. He can stop and stuff. A lot easier to control. I mean, if you're like a Mario noob, cough me. No, I'm not. A noob. No, I kind of am. But if you're like new to this whole Mario thing, yeah, that strange yellow dotted line will turn into blocks and have mushrooms in. For like your first time, you might want to use Mario just so you don't die a million times. Yay! Anyway, that makes all those little dotted lines turn into yellow blocks. So that's nice. I mean, it, it's good to come here, and it'll it'll help. I don't know how much, but I mean, again, again, counts towards the 96 exit. Yeah, there's 96 exits in the game. I'll show you what, yeah, you know, like secret exits and whatnot later. But anyway. Now we're into the second level, and the mushroom went the wrong direction. Screw you, mushroom. 
Um, and one of the goodest, goodest, um, best parts of this game. All right, thank you for saving. Thank you so much for saving. My name is Yoshi. When I went to rescue my friends, bad trapped me in that dang old egg man. And he turned a boom hammer. Oh, press the A button to jump and R. I know this. And press R and you'll cop off Yoshi. A lot of Mario hacks make you kill Yoshi. I don't think that's very nice, but I'm not. I'm not a Mario hacker, so I don't know. Anyway, Chuck, nobody likes him, just ignore him. He has a great marks midpoint. If you're small, you'll get a, uh, you'll get powered up from that. And if you're on a Yoshi and you find another Yoshi egg, it'll contain a one mushroom. And those are mining moles and nobody likes them, so we'll ignore them again. I mean, <laughs> some of these enemies in this game are just flat out annoying. Anyway, no, I'm not gonna be getting every fail. I, I can't just like <laughs> rewind and reload and save states in a legit copy. Is he? I do own the cartridge. <laughs> this is no emulator. Okay? Not an emulator. Got it? Okay. Good boy. Um. But, anyway. Uh, I mean. This is pretty, like, a hard game to, like, narrate, because there's not really, like, too much going on. Yeah, press the P, switch those turns coins into blocks, and, and vice versa. So, anyway, I hit that goal tape. Get a number of bonus stars. Just like everything else, I'll see. I'll show you guys what that does later. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, most people know what Mario World is like, but I don't know. Well, there could be somebody who's never seen this game. I mean, I probably wouldn't get along well with that person, but you know. Actually, most of my friends are. What am I saying? None of my friends are hardcore Mario fans. I'm like. I'm like more of a nerd than they even know. I mean, seriously. There's this one kid in my school who's like an open Mario nerd. But well, I'm not gonna get into him because I don't want to. Because I particularly do not like him. But that is completely beside the point. So I could tell the story, but that's kind of mean. Um, like imagine if he like watched this video. That'd be funny. Uh, even if he did, I'm sure he wouldn't know I was talking about him. Cough, cough. But, um, yeah, we got these things. I think you might die if you fall off here. But, um, yeah, they five blocks, one block, that kind of thing. And if you have, like, 30 coins, I think it's 30 coins. You jump on that green block, you get a mushroom, but I didn't bother to get coins in this level because I didn't feel like it. And I kind of forgot about that block. So, anyway, yeah, that's the third level. Like I said, pretty basic game. It does get somewhat difficult later on, and I might have to do editing powers to cut stuff out. Or I could just be lazy and not cut things out, but I'll probably cut stuff out. Just because I'm a good person. And I don't I mean, like, when I watch other people's playthroughs of these games, I didn't want to go down here, but when I watch other people's playthroughs of this stuff, and Yoshi, come back here. Um, fail. Alright, uh, when I watch other people's playthroughs and they don't cut out, like, after they die, it just gets irritating. It gets pretty redundant. I mean, I, if I die, I, like, show myself dying, but then just cut back to, like, where I was in the level. I guess that way, I mean, it's more entertaining, like, my reaction and stuff. But, you know, I mean, syncing up audio was a pain, because I'm only using iMovie 09. I mean, it's only $15 to upgrade. Alright, I pretty much made a vow that I wouldn't spend money till June, because I bought like a $700 computer, and I don't like spending money. I'm not, I'm not like one of those people who just buy stuff when they want to buy stuff. Not me at all. Anyway, you get a star here. Makes you invincible. As any Mario veteran will know. Or any low-knowledge Mario person will know too. So, and peace was just right out. And if you get like a certain number of um, enemies killed with it, you get one-ups after each time. Get a bonus stars if you break this tape, and yeah, yeah, you go to a bonus area if you get a hundred stars, and I'm gonna do that right about now. I'm gonna put, yeah, it just goes back, it recycles, so I just go back down to three. It probably won't show us all too much, just cause it's, it'll get pretty redundant, but whatever. Yeah, you jump on this, and you get, like, the item, and it's kinda like tic-tac-toe, if you get three in a row, well, it's not like tic-tac-toe, but... If you get three in a row, you get a one-up for each time you do it. So if you get, like, the whole board filled with the the same item, you actually... Uh, yeah, you have to get off Yoshi when you go into castles, because... I don't know. 
but so if you get all the same item in that bonus game, you'll get eight more mushrooms. I've only, it's only happened to me once, and it was like I think it was when I was playing on. I don't even remember, but I think it was when I was just testing out like I was doing something. I was like testing out the, my controller for Zisness the emulator. So basic castle once again. I actually kind of forgot to show something, but you can like pretty much crush the Koopas and get one-ups, but it's not really worth my time. I'm just trying to get through this here, and one of these things. I'm trying to collect the five dragon coins, remember that there are some areas you can't go back yet. You can't go back to castles. I don't know if that glitches in this game. It's like some glitch if you press L and R. You can get into old castles, but I've never even tried. And it's not like I have much interest in trying either, so whatever. And you can go back to castles and stuff after, uh... If you beat the game, well, it's not so much of a big deal anyway if you really want to collect all the dragon coins. And I really don't, because it's, like I said, not worth my time. I don't really care for dragon coins. They don't mean anything to me. All they do is give you one-ups. But, yeah. And anyway, first boss. So I'm not going to be getting all the dragon coins, no. No. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Shot three fireballs at him and killed him. Usually I have some sort of trouble with him because I fail at life, but eh, I guess not this time. Mm, that's pretty good because if I die at Iggy, I will get laughed at. Not only by myself, but from other people. Anyway, yeah, you get an egg every time you beat the castle and you get a message. Mario and Luigi defeated the, 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 have defeated the crazed Iggy Koopa in castle number. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and rescue <laughs> Rudy Yoshi's friend, who is still trapped in an egg. Now they travel together to Donut Land. Yay, Donut Land. Anyway. I love this level. I don't love this level. What am I talking about? Um, I like this level. It's a pretty fun level. Anyway. And this level also introduces the cape. And these are also... Oops. Those are called, uh, Super Koopas. I th yeah, I think they're called Super Koopas. Koopas with flashing capes, I mean, Super Koopas with flashing capes, and, yeah, on their back thing, will give you, uh, their cape every time you kill them. Screw that, I'll, I mean, there's more of them, so I'll fail. Um, I'll, I guess I'll just show it later. I'll get the flower from there, just to have it. And, random mushroom, ho, oh, chuck. And more Koopas, and I killed him again. You know what, Yoshi? I'm getting off of you. You're not helpful right now. I'm sorry, but I have to abandon you. And you know you're right there, and I just got back on you. So it was kind of a waste of time. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't even think I would... <laughs> that was an epic save right there. I didn't even do that intentionally. I just happened to press R. And I just saved my life from dying on the first time this LP. So I'm pretty happy about that. That'll be pretty cool to show. And this is one of these bonus rooms. Get all three circles on him, and you get a one up, but <laughs> I don't really remember the puzzles. So I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, the cape. Cape. Basic cape thing. And I lost it. And these guys are called Volcano Lotuses. They're jerks. Just like a lot of things. And Yoshi's back. Hopefully we don't have to kill him this time. Sorry about that, Yoshi. Yoshi? Whatever. Uh, I'll try not to let it happen again. I don't care that I just lost that, because I am getting this god dang cape and killing this god forsaken Chuck. Okay. I completely ow. Hey, meanie. Uh, whatever. Screw you. Oh, what the f... <sighs> whatever. I mean, there's a secret exit up there. I didn't even show secret exit. <laughs> Mommy. Oh, God. That was pretty much pathetically awful, huh? Yeah. But, uh, I'm, I'm alive. Don't worry. I am still alive. And I think I'm just gonna finish off this level and end up the part. Because... Pretty much about time. I don't know how long the video is right now. But uh, I'm sure it's hanging around 10 minutes since this is the first episode. I don't want it to be too long. And besides, I have a horrible conception of time.
time, so for all I know, it could be 20 minutes, even though I know it's not, but I could probably think I've been going on for 10 minutes and known to being like 4 minutes, or I could think like 20 minutes and it's like I could think it's being 15 minutes and it ends up being 30. I mean, that happened in Luigi's Nature. That one 34 minute video was not planned to be a 31 minute video. I mean, I don't have, like, a stopwatch going when I record. Thank God I kept escape, because I don't want to lose it. I mean, I die in this level sometimes. Uh, I will... I will admit that. And, ooh, we got these green shaded thingies. Another switch palace, possibly? Well, come up here. And you'll be able to find a secret area. And kill Chuck. That is always good. And, like, and anyway... One thing I'm sure a lot of people don't even know, and I actually had to go to the internet for this, but how to fly. Well, this isn't really a good area to show it in, but a lot of people actually do not know how to fly in this game. And it took me a really long time to find out myself. Basically, you're in the air. You press the opposite direction of what you're flying. So if I'm flying to the right, I push left, and then I'll fly. So, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I thought it was some weird, like, button combination or something like that, but it's just basic stuff. Just press left or right depending on which direction you're flying. Remember, it's the opposite direction. And, up here for the first time you have a secret exit. Put the key into the hole and... There will be your secret exit and you'll end up in the green switch pal. So I'm gonna beat this. Ah, Luigi fitting colors, yes. And and if you let him kick that and push these all the way over here, you get a free life. Not bad. And you'll end up out here. Woo! Flying while spin jumping. The switch palace. The power of the switch shoe pressed will turn green into green. So now all those green switch blocks will be activated, and we can go in back and get that secret and Dawn Plains 1. And, um, hmm. You know what? Eh, I actually am gonna end off the video here. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this next LP. I hope you'll stick with it, because, trust me, it'll be a fun game. I like this game, Super Mario World. Definitely a classic for many. One of the only games I've actually gotten 100% on in my life, because I really, I'm telling you, I failed life. But anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe if you like, and um, that's pretty much it for me. This has been Chinook 6, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.